Hi, my name is Julida. My name is Lee Guami. Today, I'm going to read about should esports to be encouraged as a professional career or not. Along with my teammate Ong Yi Lai, Shima, and Esther. So, go for the introduction. What is esports? Esports is a short form of electronic sports. Esports is a form of competition using video games. Nowadays, there's a lot of video games in the market, and some of that have their own tournament, have their own rules, which is to secure the fairness of the game, which allowed players to play uh, in a fair environment. And for example, Mobile Legend. Mobile Legend is uh, famous in Southeast Asia. Nowadays, you can see a lot of people, they play Mobile Legends using their mobile phone. And also, Player Unknown Battleground, which is a one of the famous game, war game, using uh, gun shooting. And King of Gory, which is very famous in China. Counter Strike Global Offense is a very, uh, it's a game that has a long history uh, in the first person shooting game, which it, as we call as the uh, first person shooting, FPS. And Dota 2. Dota 2 has the largest prize pool uh, in the world record right now. And Leech of Legends, which is one of the uh, most famous game in Asia. Okay, go for the history of the first eSport tournament, uh, which is the date is held on October 1972, and the place is Stanford University. The game they play is called Space War. Space War, you, as you can see, is a very tradition uh, old style game, and uh, just using a uh, like a spaceship and then shoot the alien. And for the price, it's a year-long subscription of the Rolling Stones magazine. Rolling Stone magazine is a, one of the famous uh, gaming magazine at that time. And now we look at the largest prize pool esports tournament. As I just mentioned, uh, Dota 2, which has the largest prize pool. Uh, the price is about 34 million of US dollar. And there's a lot of player, uh, around 16 team or 12 team. To uh, complete inside this game, and this tournament it just held like a two months ago, which is on uh, August 15. The venue is at Shanghai, China. Okay, now I'm going to explain about professional and how does it relate to our esports. A professional is a member of a profession or any person who earns their living from a specified uh, professional activity. And the terms also describe the standards of education and training that prepare members of the profession with the particular knowledge and skill necessary to perform their specific role in that profession. For example, like our badminton player, Dato Lee Chong Wei, who spent a lot of time in training and he finally made it as a uh, the world number one badminton player. But still, nowadays, a lot of parents think that video games are just game, which is cannot uh, considered as a professional career. So, in this proposal, we are going to uh, cons find out whether that eSport can be considered as a professional career or not, and should it be encouraged as a professional career. Uh, now, I'm going to pass this to my teammate, to continue their proper statement. Thank you. For the problem statement, in present years, we can clearly experience the growth of video game industry widely across the countries and developing into highly profitable business. Many athletes and elite sportsmen have denied the professionalism of this career since less strains or efforts are used physically and mentally. Meanwhile, the other parties claims that eSports take coordination, training and are very taxing on mind. Also, electronic games require a lot of energy to play and incredibly competitive. It does take time, effort and meticulous skills to become a professional gamer. So this issue is still inconclusive. Both pros and cons should be analyzed from both parties to come out with favorable judgment. 
Next, for the objectives of research, we would like to determine the professionalism of esports and can this professionalism considered as professional career? Secondly, to know the perception of young generations in choosing esports as their future career. And lastly, to find out the business opportunities of esports industries in Malaysia for the professional gamer. Uh, next, for the methodology, the type of method that we use is quantitative research, which is used to quantify the problem by way of generating numerical data. Uh, for this project, we will do a survey by using a questionnaire. Our target respondent is 50 UTHM Pago respondent, uh, range age between 80 to 30 years old. Our survey medium is by using a Google form. We are using a Google form to make the respondent easy to answer the questionnaire and for us to collect the data easily. Uh, the questionnaire consists of 10 questions. Next, for the data collection, we will use uh, data from news, journal and article. This is some of the article that we found on the internet. Good morning everyone and my name is Ong Yilai. Now, I'm going to present my part which is significant of study. Everyone has known that the problem faced by eSports nowadays and I'm going to explain why we should carry out the study of should eSports to be recognized as a professional career. Some people think that playing games is a waste of time and it doesn't help in anything, but they are wrong. eSports market does it the growth of economy in worldwide. According to 5th edition of 2019 Global eSport Market Report, 1.1 billion or 26.7% of year-on-year -year growth is contributed by eSport Market. A big amount of profit at, as this is from investment of sponsorship, media rights, advertising and other. There are so many tournaments were organized all around the world nowadays. Prizes are up to $25 million are given to the outstanding team in the tournament. This might help in the cash flow in worldwide and indirectly helps the growth of economy in worldwide too. Other than that, people also, people also think that Esport is just about playing games and playing games is not qualified to be recognized as a professional career, but they are wrong too. Esport player, they use about 12 to 15 hours every day to train their skills and a lot of extensive game knowledge, elite mechanical skills and reflex is required to be a professional in esport field. According to a professional player in Team Liquid, which is famous in the world, he said that to be professional, time is restrictive. We can know that to be, prof to be a professional esport player, a lot of time need to be spent on practicing and to, playing, to play games is easy, but in order to in order to earn six figure by playing games, it's very difficult and a lot a lot of practicing is needed and this could prove that eSport is qualified to, to be encouraged as a professional career in worldwide. And now for the conclusion. In this proposal, we can conclude that the introduction about eSport is a short form of the electronic sports and it's a competition by using video games and the professional means that people who use their knowledge or skills in specific activity to earn living and the proper statement just like our title should eSport to be encouraged as a professional career objective to determine the professionalism of eSports and can this professionalism consider as a professional career? To find out this answer, we might use questionnaire and also the data collections in order to get more detailed 
and more data of the result. And the significance of issue is esports aid the growth of economy and esports training. This is the truth of the growth of economy for the esports. Thank you.